All right, so in this video, let us continue to solve more problems based on trigonometric ratios of multiple and submultiple angles. And we've got a question here which reads like this. It says, uh, prove that tan of 4 theta equals 4 tan theta times 1 minus tan square theta, the whole divided by 1 minus 6 tan square theta plus tan to the power 4 theta. Well, if you're wondering where did this come from, where is tan 4 theta? Well, don't take it directly because we're going to write tan 4 theta as tan 2 times 2 theta, which makes it pretty much, you know, if you take this entire thing as just theta, it makes it tan 2 theta, right? So you can write tan 4 theta as tan 2 times the 2 theta, right? So tan 2 theta, if you remember, it is, let me mention it here, tan 2 theta is nothing but 2 tan theta divided by 1 minus tan square theta. So in this case, it will be 2 tan 2 theta divided by 1 minus tan square in the place of theta will be 2 theta. That's the difference. Right. So now again, we have tan 2 theta here. So that we can again split it. So it will become 2 times this 2 you take it as it is. Tan 2 theta is what? Tan 2 tan theta divided by 1 minus tan square theta. Right. And that whole divided by 1 minus 2 again, you know, there is tan square 2 theta here. So you're going to write the same thing as tan 2 theta. So 2 tan theta divided by 1 minus tan square theta, except that it's going to get squared because it is tan square 2 theta. That's the only difference. All right. So what happens next is I'll write it here. You know, since it's a fraction of fractions, you know, you just have to write the top fraction into the reciprocal of the down fraction. So that's what it's going to be. So before that, let's quickly uh, see what happens to this one. Right, so you know, 2 times 2 is uh, 4 tan theta divided by 1 minus tan square theta divided by, now let's take an LCM here, right? Well, not before we square this, so let me write it here. 1 minus squaring of this gives you 4 tan square theta divided by 1 minus tan square theta, the whole square, right? So Taking LCM, we have uh, 4 tan theta, that is as it is, divided by 1 minus tan square theta, divided by, this goes here, right, this 1 by 1, if you consider it, it will be 1 minus tan square theta, the whole square, minus 4 tan square theta, divided by 1 minus tan square theta, the whole square. So this is the LCM for this. So if you see here, there are two fractions, fraction divided by a fraction. So that's going to be the multiplication of the reciprocal of these. But before that, you know, we can see that this gets cancelled. The denominator of this gets cancelled with one of these. So all we're left with is 4 tan theta divided by 1, that's going to be, into the reciprocal of this. So it'll be 1 minus tan square theta divided by 1 minus tan square theta, the whole square, minus 4 tan square theta, right? So now, what we can write this as is, this will be 4 tan theta. Now, now that we've come to a certain distance of the problem, we just have to take a quick look at the right-hand side. Are we going too far or are we approaching this? We are almost approaching this. We've got the numerator here. So, 4 tan theta times 1 minus tan square theta. We've got that, but we haven't got the denominator quite right, I guess. So let's try expanding this a minus b the whole square. It's going to be 1 square plus tan to the power 4 theta minus 2ab. So 2ab is going to be 2 times 1 into tan square theta. So 2 tan square theta minus 4 tan square theta. Okay, we're just one step away. So now the numerator, we've got it 4 tan theta into 1 minus tan square theta divided by now you see that minus 2 tan square theta minus 4 tan square theta makes minus 6 tan square theta. So 1 minus 6 tan square theta and the left over is plus tan to the power 4 theta. Well, we've got the exact thing. So that's the right hand side. All right. So we've started off with just tan 4 theta and we've reached here, which is the right hand side. The trick here was to not see tan 4 theta as just 4 theta. You know, you have to see it as 2 times 2 theta. So, and then you see it as tan 2 theta, keep going on from there. And after one point, it's simple mathematics. Remembering the formula is only till, you know, halfway through the problem. And after that, you just have to, you know, use the basic concepts of fractions and all those things to solve this problem. 
right so that ends this problem and the video as well i'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on trigonometric ratios of multiple and sub multiple angles Thank you.